Hello, hello, Ederson Oliver here for Solo Coder. Today I'll be talking about sales funnel. So what is a sales funnel? Sales funnel is the process that you put customers through to buy your product or service. Why is that important? Because without a process like that, you don't have a constant flow of leads. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. This is a very simple sales funnel. As you can see, it has the shape of a funnel. It starts at the top with what it's called leads. You pour leads into the system, into your sales process, and then your job is to convert them to customers. How? Well, leads are contacts that you have their contact information. You, you know how to reach them. Might be via their email address, might be a phone number. So you have leads at the, at the top. Then your job will be to convert those leads to prospects. So what is a prospect? A prospect is a lead that you have established communication. You send an email, they reply back to you, you give them a phone call, they, they answer the phone call or they call you back. So you converted a lead to a prospect. Now, with a prospect, your job will be to qualify that prospect. Do they have budget to, to work with you? Do they have a need that requires your service. So you qualify them inside the prospect slice of the funnel. Then your job will be to convert those prospects that are qualified into customers. You know, you exchange money for your services. So that's a simple shape of a sales funnel. It can be more complex than that and can be not so much simpler than that. I think this is the, the most simple format of a sales funnel. That's the basic shape of it. Now, there are softwares, there are systems out there that can help you manage your sales pipeline. I'm gonna just show you two of them. One is HubSpot. There are many out there, many, many. It's, they are called CRMs. One is called HubSpot and you can start, actually, this is a CRM that is for free. Um, I have not used it before, but it's free. Thanks, uh, Dave Poindexter for let me know about this CRM. You cannot be free, so have a look. It might be an option for you. I have used in the past something called uh, Close.io, which is yet another CRM. Very simple as well. It's paid pricing. You can, you can check it out. Very good CRM. It automates a lot of the phone call, even phone calls. It does phone call integration. So not sure if you need something as sophisticated as that, but hey, you start for free, nothing beats free. So yeah, so pour people on top. Now, your question might be, hey, Ederson, but how do you pour people on top of my funnel? Well, that will be the subject of many of my rambles. There are various different strategies to pour leads at the top of your funnel. I cannot, I won't be able to cover that under five minutes, but I'll be covering that over time. My, my last point here is, once you get a lead into your pipeline, make sure that you follow up with them until either you close the sale or they tell you, walk away, don't call anymore, don't send me emails anymore. That's what I usually do. One thing that I, that I do though, just to break the ice and, and give them the option to tell me to stop, I say, hey, you know, if I'm bugging you, I don't want to bug you too much, but please let me know if I should stop following up. I do weekly follow-ups with leads that I haven't heard. So um, yeah, that's just a quick intro of Sales Funnel, which is called Sales Pipeline as well, which is called Sales Process as well. I hope that entices you a little bit to get to know more about Sales Funnel. And as I said, I will be talking about more and more how you get leads on top of your Sales Funnel. That's it. Big shout out to the Slack group, Slack peeps, everybody comment. I want to hear the question today is, do you have a sales process? Do we have a pipeline? How do we work that? How do you keep leads warm? How do you keep them in contact? What's your strategy there? That's it for now. Thank you very much and bye.